the thought that I could have an impact on another person's life, I take as a very serious responsibility. Can you tell us why you decided to write your book, Shadow Boxing and Other Bizarre Adventures of a Blind Girl? That's a great question and it's actually a story that I love to tell because I did not decide to write my memoir. About five years ago I was in a very, very difficult place emotionally and mentally. My counselor actually, because my whole life I've been an avid reader and writer, she suggested that a great way for me to begin my healing process at home might be to start writing down some of the feelings that I had had about the loss of my dad and the loss of my vision. My vision's been declining over the course of my entire life so it's just this ongoing grieving process. This is something I live with this is not something that's going away it's in fact something that continues to get worse over time but I look back on my life and feel so much pride about every step of the way the way that I turned it into laughter I turned it into a funny situation or a great conversation with somebody about it to try and educate them about vision loss and it wasn't until towards the end when the content was almost completed that I thought maybe this is something that I do want to share with other people what's been the most beneficial realization you've had while coping with your vision loss I used to hide my vision loss. I did not like to tell people that I was visually impaired before I had my mobility cane. You would have never been able to tell except for some weird chance encounters where I would trip over something or appear very clumsy. And I didn't want to ask for help because independence is so important to me and it's so important to anyone with a disability that they have that independence, that empowerment to take care of themselves. But now I don't see asking for help as a bad thing. I don't see that as an indication that I can't help myself. I just need help like anybody else would need help with any other situation. And now my friends and I have this close connection where I can ask for help and where I know that I won't be rejected. I know that they want to help me. I am deeply touched and inspired by your story and your book and maybe more so from your reflection and your honest way of working through this experience and being able to articulate it for us. So tell me, what is your hope for the impact of this book? To me, I just need a book to be what I need when I need that. And so my hope for my book is that for the person who picks it up, that my book is what they need at the moment they need it most, whether that's a good laugh, or whether that's a good cry, or whether that's a connection with somebody who else lost a parent very young. Regardless of what someone connects with in my book, I want it to be what they need when they need it because books have always been that for me. So for people with vision loss, my aim for an impact is you're not alone. It's extremely scary to lose your eyesight. It's, the fear is something that when you face it, it's very, very hard to acknowledge. But if you acknowledge it, and if you go looking for resources, the empowerment that you'll feel again to be able to live your life the way you want it is just endless. It's the same opportunity that everybody else has. We just need to go and reach for it.